Fun fact, Bastion is the ultimate endgame in World Zero. No one really cares about your prestige, how many infinite tower floors you've done, or how much damage you can deal. What truly sets players apart is their style, and no fit is complete without a mount. Looking good is feeling good, and feeling good is playing good. The pinnacle of World Zero Endgame is customizing your character. Sometimes it's completing the weekly quest to get that terrible hex on cosmetics, saving up coins to purchase the item you want, or new updates that bring exclusive cosmetics. Customization is king. The developers want you to customize your character. From the barbershop, the battle pass, cash shop, and even the guild seasons, everything screams expression. But cosmetics cost crystals, crystals cost money, and money from your pocket puts money into theirs. And what cosmetics do all players love? Mounts. There are 88 unique tradable mounts according to the World Zero Wiki. This hasn't been updated since last November. Off the top of my head, I can name the recent Ferret mounts, Jeff from April Fools, Easter Bunny recolors, Valentine Jetpack from the Battle Pass, Teddy Bear recolors, Christmas Event Deer mounts, and the list goes on and on. Despite all mounts traveling at the same speed, not all are the same price. All of these mounts have their own values. For instance, the Golden Unicorn, one of the cheapest mounts in the game, is listed as low as 5 million coins. Compared to the Arctic Fox, a mount with a similar acquisition sells upward of 4 times its price. A large factor in mount prices is not only the way it's obtained, but the aesthetic. If the mount looks cool, players are going to want it. The Candy Cane is another one of the cheapest mounts in the game. The Candy Cane, black and white, is much more expensive. The Slay Mount is from the 2022 Christmas event and doesn't fetch prices too high. The Slay Mount, black and white, you can probably guess which is more expensive, but aesthetics alone don't determine value. The real game changer is the way these mounts are obtained. Enter Crystal Chest, the loot boxes of World Zero, and nestled in one of these chests lies the elusive Anti-Slay. Anti-Slay can fetch prices up to 50 million. The Anti-Slay comes at a generous 1.9% drop rate from the Anti-Chest. Each chest costs 1200 crystals per. On top of this, the mount was only available during the 2022 Christmas event. Players will need to open an average of 53 chests, which can be purchased for bundles of 3 for 3,000 crystals. Doing the math, it would require 53,000 crystals or 19,000 Robux, roughly $200. But hold your horses, the anti slay is not the crown jewel of all mounts. It's not even one of the most expensive mounts currently on the market. The most expensive honor belongs to another loot box exclusive, the Anti Deer. Released in December 2023, this is the most expensive mount in the game. Unlike the Anti Slay at a 1.9% drop rate, this one has a 0.6% drop rate. That is three times rarer than the Anti Slay. 159 anti chests, 159,000 crystals, and 57,000 Robux, or your mom's credit card. So, how do people get their hands on the deer? Personally, I'm broke and I did not spend $600 on World Zero. I did not get this mount from the anti chest, but I did buy it for gold. I don't think all these other people that also own the deer spent 600 bucks on chests. Back in 2022, each item had a unique tag assigned to it. Items with duplicated tags were marked illegal items and untradeable. I stopped playing the game shortly after this, but when I returned, my illegal teddy bear mount was now tradable. I suspect the majority of any anti-deers in the economy are duped or exploited. I find it very hard to believe that everyone who owns this mount opened that many crystal chests and got it legitimately. If you think about it, why would anyone sell this item for gold? Daily cash shop items can easily sell for 20 million coins. The 27 hex white special dress from the blackout weekend easily reaches 25 mil while only costing 1500 crystals. With the same number of crystals it takes to get the anti deer, one could buy 100 white special dresses. That's 2 billion coins in World Zero. Yet this deer mount is tradable for 100 million coins. This price could be due to a variable of things. For example, there were other items in the anti chest which drove the price of the deer down. Additionally, the gold cap is 100 mil, so that's the highest players can sell the deer for. Despite this, the deer is actually valued at 100 million coins, and there are items in this game that are extremely rare and would never be traded for coins. So, why do players sell anti-deers? I don't know. But there you have it, the most expensive tradable mount in the game, the anti-deer. It took me months of saving to get gold for this mount. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.